Warning, this game contains very violent and gory gameplay. Editor's note, this also contains very loud sounds. If you dislike blood splatters, shatter bones, ripping off heads, or slicing of body parts, then this video is not for you. Go watch one of my other color videos for you to enjoy. Here's a little quick demonstration of what you'll mostly be seeing throughout this video. In 3, 2, 1. Still here? Good, let's get this video going. Hi, I'm a gamer who's a guy named Gary, and I have a gun. And that was called a first person shooter. This genre of video games is really popular in the gaming industry and has been around for years. It all started with Wolfenstein 3D, which is... Yeah, you can really see this is the first first person shooter. But a year later, Doom came out and everyone loved it. The pacing was nice with fun little secrets, collectibles, and guns to fight. Ooh, baby the guns. Then you have the rush of killing demons all around you, and it was great. Doom still holds up as one of the most iconic FPSs in all of game. Sadly, I never experienced this as a kid. My experience with the FPSs was mostly with COD, TF2, Overwatch, and kind of Planets and Zombies, Garden Warfare 2, but that game, you had people looking at their backs. But I didn't really have any interest in FPSs until one day my brother told me about Doom Eternal. I was mostly following the development of Animal Crossing, but I was a bit excited to play Doom Eternal because during the uh <coughs> sorry, both of these games were coming out at the same time. And surprisingly, this became a big meme. And I liked how it worked. How like a little cute little dog had a friend who was the slayer of hell and killer of all demons who rips and tears no matter what just to get the revenge on every single one. I recommend checking out this meme just to give a little flashback. Anyways, I fell in love with playing Doom Eternal. It felt like no other FPS I ever played. With most FPS campaigns, it's like... Bang! 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 But in Doom Eternal, it's like... You run and jump around killing demons and throwing explosives and just going all out in the most unique part? Glory kills. These animations are so cool, and every single angle where you do the glory kill is unique from the others. These glory kills are crazy like. Oh, please, no. Oh, dude, get him, get him, get him. Yeah! Yeah! The demons in this game are pretty wacky in how they look and play throughout the game. Hugo Martin has done an amazing job of how these demons move in this game. The demons by themselves are so weak. They're so easy to kill, like boom, bang, boom, you're done. It's so easy. But all the demons combined will kill you instantly. They move all around wanting you to freak out and go hide or run away. And soon you'll be in a corner with nothing to do. And boom. You are dead. No big surprise. The demons force you to move around instead of just hiding in the corner like a little baby man. But don't be scared of the demons because the combat is oh so great. You have two jumps and two dashes to keep you out of danger. There's also bounce pads, ammo, health, shield, and bars to keep you moving around the area. If you're in a tough situation, you can quickly dash out and grab some items and then get back in the fight, which is nice for first time players. But I'm an FFF -F -F game -game -game. So I use the tools that the game gives you, like the flame belt, which gives you free armor for burned enemies. Or the frost bomb for demons who are too fast. Or the blood punch, which is a powerful punch that clears out enemies in front of you. You also have little fragmentings that can help you kill some demons with an explosion. Low on ammo? Use the chainsaw on common demons to get more ammo. With all these tools come beautiful, oh so good weapons. You have your basic shotgun, heavy cannon, plasma rifle, rocket launcher, super shotgun, ballista, and chain gun. All these weapons come with mods, like having sticky bombs on your shotgun, 
or detonating rockets at a certain time, or a grappling hook for you super shark gun. My favorite has to be the plasma rifle, because how fast it shoots and it just instantly kills enemies. It also has a microwave blast if you shoot long enough. With this arsenal in your hands can come in hand with ripping and tearing through all the demons and their weaknesses. Each demon has their own weakness. Like the cat demon. Yep. Sure, they're tough as balls and can hit you pretty hard. But all you need to do is throw a grenade into their mouth and they are staggered. Or arachnotrons. Yeah. Annoyed with their stupid turrets? Just snipe them or sticky bomb to the turrets and they are helpless. Except for this Hello. guy who's an absolute stupid idiot who deserves to be dead on the floor in the sewer. I don't understand what the hell they did to this guy. Like the first time you meet him, he's easy to beat, but then later on they put like adrenaline into his bones or something. Like he's so damn hard. Ugh. But damn, the music doesn't just hit. It rips every single nerve in your body to make you think of nothing and wanting you to go on a rampage. Mick Gordon does an amazing job with his music. He does some creative stuff with the guitars and the beats of the music. Like in Gladiator Boss, there are some Scooby-Doo spooky sound effects that just go oh so well. He was my first introduction to metal music and I still listen to it today. His music can go with anything and it will feel glorious. I feel without him, Doom would never be the same. And it sucks what he had to work with. Recently, he talked about his work experience at Bethesda and how horrible it was. I don't want to go over the whole story because this is already a long vod, so I'll leave a link about the allegations below in the description. After all the slaying that you've done, you get to take a little break and do some platforming, which I was not expecting from an FPS. There are some cool secrets to find, like runes, pillars, metals, vinyls, and toys. Something classic that they added was extra lives, which can come in good handy. But I didn't need them because I didn't die once at all. The worlds look really cool and interesting to see how they look. You get to see the big figures that happened at the battle before, or you get to see some cool cults. Except for Mission 9, screw that stage, it sucks so much. Like it's unexpectedly hard for some goddamn reason. Sure the final mission is a bit harder, but that's the final mission. After the ninth mission, show how bad it is you'll never guess. Never guess what shows up with your first encounter. It's a marauder and a cacodemon that you have to fight at the same time. Like what the hell? And all you get is three times insta kill weapon that kills one heavy demon. The BFG 9000 is so much better because it instantly kills a horde of demons with one shot, and you get this way earlier in the game. God, this stage sucks so much. Sorry, I just had to rant off about this stage. Anyway, it seems like this game is like all the other mature games, with blood, gore, and a little bit of spooky stuff. Now for little kids. Well, if you play this game for yourself, the game can be. It's all alien. We couldn't figure it out. We have to uh, prepare for his careful extraction. We were given specific orders. Goofy at sometimes. <laughs> One of the glory kills, he bonks some demons on the head. Another is with a revenant, who just spins out and explodes. The pain elemental has a waddle animation. At the end of the game, you see a demon playing with one of the toys, and the best character in the entire game, the slayer himself. He's so menacing and anything that dares look at him has total fear in their eyes. 
but deep down, the Slayer seems to be like a wholesome guy. He plays with one of the toys, he has books on how to cook and how to deal with anger. It's like the saying. Don't judge a book by its cover. Doom Eternal is an amazing game and has possibly one of the best campaigns in all of the FPS genre. If you're a fan of FPSs who loves fast paced action, then go play Doom Eternal. You will feel entirely different after you play this game. It's fun, fast, serious, and funny. Thanks for watching my video. Now if you'll excuse me, I'm going to be playing more Doom.